all love fast food, right? I mean, think about all the fast food that there is out there. You got McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell. Chipotle is probably my favorite out of all the fast food restaurants. But what if I told you that some real scary things have happened at fast food restaurants? Mm-hmm. The stories I'm about to tell you today have all actually happened and they are pretty freaky. What's going on Dragon Army? Welcome back to another spooky video. In tonight's video, we're gonna be talking about some scary horror stories that have happened at fast food restaurants. We all love fast food restaurants, but we also love it when you guys smash that like button. That's right, go ahead and smash that like button so if you enjoy this video, YouTube can recommend it to other people to watch as well. If you guys wanna see a part number two, let's get 5,000 likes on this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload another video. Without further ado, here we go. Fast food restaurants have been around for a really long time. Actually, the first McDonald's was in 1955. Ray Kroc's first McDonald's was built on the east side of Mississippi. Ah, what a time it was to be alive. Finally, you can go somewhere and pay for a burger. Mmm, delicious, right? There are now over 500 thousand fast food restaurants in the world by the way what is your favorite fast food restaurant I'm gonna have to say that mine probably Chipotle I love Chipotle but most of the times we don't even know what we're actually eating I mean Let's take Subway for example. Everyone loves Subway, right? It's probably one of those things you think about when you want to be healthy. Hey, let me go get a fresh, nice, healthy sub, right? Did you know that the CBC actually investigated Subway in Canada and they found out that the Subway's chicken breast was only 50% chicken and chicken strips we're only 43% chicken. They expected just chicken, but our DNA test shows Subway could only be half that. I don't know what most of these things are. It's almost like a chemistry class, not a cooking class. Wait, what? So hold on, if the chicken is only half chicken, what's in the rest of it? After testing the Subway chicken over five times, they found out that most of that chicken was actually just soy and random other fillers. Now imagine eating a chicken Subway sandwich, thinking that you're eating something healthy, when really, there's barely any chicken. Luckily, Subway ended up fixing that issue. All right, get this. How do you start your day? Well, personally, I don't drink coffee, but a lot of my friends do. Do you start your day with a cup of coffee? Yeah. Maybe you do. And you know what? A lot of people do. In fact, Americans consume 400 million cups of coffee per day, which is around 146 billion cups of coffee per year. And a lot of us love Starbucks. Now imagine this for a moment. It's the morning, you're waiting for your lovely coffee from Starbucks, your triple grande latte pinata, whatever the heck you ordered, only to find out that there is fecal matter inside your Starbucks. What? Yeah, somebody literally took a shit in your Starbucks. Well, tonight our Verified team is taking on a story that's gone viral. It's a report from the BBC claiming fecal bacteria was found in ice at Starbucks. I'm not making this up. This has actually happened. Indicate that this is a widespread problem. They got positive tests on three of the 10 samples that they took from a single Starbucks in England. Iced coffee drinks actually had a high level of fecal matter inside them from Starbucks. I mean, eventually Starbucks fixed this, but a BBC series found a high level of fecal matter inside the iced coffee at Starbucks. So the next time you think to yourself, hmm, this coffee really tastes like crap. You might be onto something. All right, so we talked a little bit about pretty 
much food poisoning, which for the most part, these things have already been fixed by these companies. But now let me tell you some real horror stories that have actually happened in fast food restaurants. I'm talking about actual crimes that are unsolved. In 1978, four young burger chef employees literally vanished from work. While closing up the restaurant, they literally just disappeared until this day, the murder remains unsolved. November 17th, 1978. Four fast food workers disappeared from a restaurant on Crawfordsville Road at closing time. Around midnight, a co-worker stopped by to help the night crew clean up. Just checking in on them, right? He found the place to be completely empty. The restaurant's back door was still open. After not being able to find them, the employee called the police and a rescue mission was set in motion. And this is where it gets terrifying. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. If you haven't smashed that like button by now, you really should. Two days later, 20 miles away, hikers stumbled upon all four bodies in the middle of the woods in Indiana. Days later, hikers found their bodies over 20 miles away in a remote part of Johnson County. This was reported by the Indiana Police Star. The assistant manager, Jane, had been stabbed until she passed away. Ruth Ellen, 17. Daniel Davis, who was 16, had been shot. And the youngest one of them, who was 16 years old, Mark Fleming, passed away because he just lost too much blood. As of 2020, the crime is still unsolved. Nobody knows what happened. They obviously got kidnapped, but for why? Now, I don't want to scare you, but imagine working in a fast food restaurant and that happening. This is a real story. Here is the final story for this video. Nathan Leon, 27 years old, works at Domino's. We all love Domino's. I'm not gonna say nothing bad about Domino's. They got an amazing deal. $7.99 for two pizzas. Or is that a different company? Pretty sure that's Domino's. $7.99 for two medium pizzas. Anyways, Nathan was a delivery driver. Just a regular day dropping off pizza as he normally would. He didn't know that he was driving into a trap. On March 17, 2013, he got a normal order and went to deliver the pizza. But Leon never made it back to the restaurant. The Denver Post reported that his car was found one mile away, abandoned from where he was supposed to be delivering the pizza. His phone was later discovered in a ditch in Colorado. A developing story right now, the family of Nathan Leon desperate for answers, hoping someone will come forward with information about who killed the young father of three as he delivered pizza Sunday night. His body was found Sunday evening here off Rooney Road in Golden. Two days later, the guy who actually shot the Domino's driver was arrested, but get this, the Domino's delivery shirt was found found inside the car of the killer <sighs> just imagine that delivering pizza leading to that how terrifying right now guys i have a lot more real stories that have all happened but if you guys want to see those videos i need you to smash that like button right now so that youtube can recommend this video to other people so that they can smash the like button so that they can smash it so that youtube can recommend it to more people and that way i can make keep making these videos for you guys because that wraps up today's video guys but i do have a lot more stories so stick around till the next video guys make sure you hit that subscribe button so that when I upload another video you don't miss out also if you haven't noticed I've been trying to upload a lot more often for you hopefully I'll be able to do new uploads every single day Tuesday to Saturday all I need is your support to know that you guys actually want to see that if you do comment down below and hit that like button and share it with your friends and also leave a nice comment in the section down below. Thank you for watching All Those World TV. Remember, it is your world if you want to be. Peace.